Oh man, after a week break, Black Clover comes back with a banger. The long-awaited anticipation for Asa to use his Demon Slasher Katana in his Devil Union form is finally over and we get to see a great display of it in this chapter and this confirms some theories as well. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I have been theorizing that Asa will have a Samurai transformation. He will use a Dimension Slash but an anti-magic version of it and it turned out amazing. Now, previously in the last chapter, chapter 315, the Black Bull's hideout towards the end started to crumble when we saw it fighting this Luciferal manifestation worm devil while we see other magic knights helping to fight it off but it really wasn't much that they could do but the Black Bulls put their trust in Austin we see him in a distance ready with the katana to do a significant blow to this manifestation and from what we saw in the chapter the wait was worth it now at the beginning portions of this chapter it starts off where we see some of the space soldiers are still on the ground because we see that Luciferal is starting to manifest which was alluded to by Noct. Noct said that Luciferal is manifesting which makes a lot of sense because we did see in the previous chapter that his gravity magic was getting stronger. That's evidence and an indication that even though the fight was continuing on, Luciferal was manifesting while he was fighting. So the longer the fight would have went on, the stronger Luciferal would have gotten into manifest completely and that would have been really bad because in the words of Noct, if Luciferal was to come out the world is finished and none of the magic knights are ready for this guy yet, yet alone this manifestation worm. We then see a minor flashback during the moments before Asta left the Black Bulls hideout. He tells the Black Bulls that him and Liba may be able to save Captain Yami without harming anyone. And it's crazy how we have yet to see anyone have any interaction with Asta and wondering why is there a floating devil on his shoulder. Because we saw how when Nero was a bird and she was following Asta how they all reacted, we have yet to see how they reacted with Asta walking around with Liba. But that might be something we might see after this arc is over. Now, after Asta told the Black Bulls his plan, letting them know that he can save Captain Yami without harming anyone, they all believe and trust him and say that you got this. And we find out how Asta even got that far from the fight to begin with is because Fenro teleported him away from the distance so Asta can finally strike. Now, I love this next interaction with Asta and Liba because Asta, he is asking him, can we cut this thing? Because he's not quite sure and he's a little hesitant on it. And Liba is saying that yes, we can cut it, we will cut it. And the reason why I love this interaction because there is no ego. One is not putting one over the other. No one doesn't feel like they are better than the other. They view each other as equals. They both need each other equally and that's what makes their devil binding ritual and the contract that they made with one another so special because it's a 50-50 contract. This is what makes Asa's devil union form so strong because of his bond with Liba. They have a common goal as well and also they believe and trust in one another and they understand each other. It's likely if Austin Liba did not make a 50-50 contract or it was probably 60-40 or 90-10 or Asta have full range of the contract with 100% domination of it, they probably wouldn't be as linked as they are now and probably wouldn't be as strong. Because we know how Saint Stage work, you have to be completely in unison with one another, the user and the spirit to achieve 100% assimilation and that is Saint Stage. A very similar method of Austin Liba's Devil Union. Which is very interesting because right before they transform, Asa said in order to save Captain Yami, while Liba in unison is saying in order to avenge Lysita, we cannot let Lucifer come out. Even though Liba is more so on the revenge mindset where Asa is more so the save because there is a yin yin yang here, but the common gray area is the fact that they want to stop Lucifer. And right after that, we saw Austin Liba, they transform into this new version of Devil Union, and it looks awesome. Asta got that whole new samurai swag about him now. Asta's Devil Union form has never looked better. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering, why is Asta's Devil Union form, why it looks so different when he's holding the katana? Now, this was foreshadowed, this has been shown many times. If you notice when Asta is holding his Demon Slayer sword, you notice that his arm has no spikes on it, but when he's holding the Demon Destroyer sword, there are spikes. And Tabata has kept this theme consistent because we see it again here, where one arm, when he's holding the Demon Slayer, there's no spikes, but when he's holding the Demon Destroyer sword, the spikes are clearly there, and even when he's holding the Demon Dweller sword, we see that Asta forms a cape. So it only makes sense why Asta's form looks so drastically different when he's holding a katana and he has this samurai esque look which goes hand in hand to the land of the rising sun lore 
of the Edo period during the time of the samurai wherein they had katanas which is where Yami is from and it makes sense why he has a katana and he's from the land of the sun. And I do hope with this that we finally will get a arc where they go to the land of the rising sun. I think that will be a fun arc. So now that Asta has transformed, he talks about that neither him or Libra were chosen by Mana, but that's why they would choose Destiny for themselves. Now right before Asta did his significant strike to this Luciferal manifestation, we see this blatant parallel panel where we see that Tabata has drawn where Yami did the exact same pose right before he strikes Zagrid using Mana Zone Equinox, his Dimension Slash version of it, and we see how Asta is in the exact same pose ready to strike this manifestation immediately when i saw that panel that was just hard to ignore that reference because asta is a lot like yami because their fighting styles are quite similar but they just make their fighting styles even more similar now that asta has the katana it really shows you how much asta has been analyzing yami's abilities and his techniques and his fighting stance because he gets even more crazier with the references in this chapter because when asta finally strike with his demon slasher the spell was called infinity slash equinox is the exact same pose when yami did dimension slash against veto which killed him off and man it looked so awesome asta pretty much did his own version of dimension slash and of course it one shot this manifestation because so far every time we saw asta use his katana we see that he one shots his opponents we see that he one shotted dante when he striked him which left a scar for dante to see for the rest of his life if he is dead or alive but that has yet to be seen and in asta's devil union form which was off screen we saw the foreshadowing power of how strong Asta's katana is in that form because it took away Nox's mana zone and also his devil union form as well and Asta only missed him. What we saw in this chapter what Asta displayed from his demon slasher this confirms what Nox has been saying for the longest time. Asta will be the strongest and that's just from one strike we saw from his katana. We don't know what Asta is capable of with using the katana there's only one move it's so many other techniques that Austin may have utilized with the katana but we have not seen yet or he's just trying to get used to it. Either way, him getting that katana, Yami passing it off to him was a blessing. It was a gift because this man is a beast. I'm waiting for an anti-magic death thrust now. <laughs> Now once this happened, you see the manifestation is crumbling, you see everyone's reaction but one that stood out to me in particular was Mario Leonis. While everyone is looking stunned, even Faye Goleon, since Goleon is smiling with that proud look like yeah that's what I want, that's what I like to see. And from these reactions, I really wish Klaus was here because we know that Klaus is like Asta's biggest fanboy, you know he's the leader of his fan club and we saw how Klaus was screaming when Asta defeated the ancient demon. Oh man, just imagine if Klaus would have saw this. He would have passed out. He would have fainted. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! Now as Yami and William and they are falling after being saved by Asta, you see that Asta he gives a description of the way the Demon Slasher works. He goes on and states that the Demon Slasher is able to choose what it wants to cut. So in other words, his katana is more accurate and more precise than his other swords. So if he needs to do a, a attack where he needs to hit a certain target and nothing else, he could use a Demon Slasher. Which is something we already saw when Nock was fighting Asta and how Asta hit him which the katana did like a little whip around to hit Noct because Noct was blending in and hiding between his shadow dogs. And it makes a lot of sense, I would say this is a perfect ability for the slasher because we all was wondering what unique ability he would have since this sword is not originated from the grimoire. So now we know that this katana also has an exclusive ability so now it can stand out amongst the other swords and not just be a katana embedded with anti-magic. So the things that Asta wants to truly protect and be more accurate with his blows he would never cut it with the katana. And the chapter ends off with Yami and Nak. they're smiling at Asta saying that Asta, you pulled it off. And that is how the chapter ends. But number one, I'm not gonna get too excited about this because I don't think this is truly over. Because the main reason why, we have the second gate. The second gate has opened and a supreme devil has not shown up yet. And I don't believe that Tabata will make Asta get in his devil union form to just swing his katana to slice this manifestation asa still has five minutes i'm pretty sure it did not take him five minutes to swing his sword which <laughs> that'll be crazy right i truly don't believe this arc is over yet especially just in five minutes 
Still got five minutes left, and I'm pretty sure it didn't take you five minutes to subscribe to the channel with notification bells on to see more Black Clover content from me right into your YouTube feed. You guys have an awesome life. Take care of yourselves. Stay blessed, and I'm out.